for one of my yeah. college papers. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're supposed to ask someone in the career field that we're going into kind of oh, some uh, <laughs> tips about things. Uh, and I'm, I'm going for uh, journalism and communications, hoping to be kind of like a sports broadcaster. So I was here. Oh, go, baby. Go. Let's go, dude. Oh, great. Go off, so bro. What are some uh, things that uh, kind of garner respect and kind of build relationships with people that. No, uh, just I think just be a good guy, Braden. Hey, mm-hmm. you be a good guy. You bring energy, Braden. Yeah. And uh, Adam Schefter told us this whenever he was on our show the first time. I said, hey, if there was somebody who wanted to get into the sports journalism field, which I believe is a question you just asked, what tip would you give him? And I think he said, do whatever you can to get in the door. And uh, I think he meant that when it, with the big networks is what he was referring to, like ESPN or Fox, or do whatever you can. But now that there's so many internet businesses that do this, if you get a chance to work with anybody that potentially has a big platform, uh, like for instance, Barstool, if you get a chance to work with Barstool, you are getting put on a better position for your future than probably if you're having a very low job or position at one of the main networks, right? Uh, The Ringer does the same thing. There's a bunch of internet outfits that if you really want to go to work on social media and start garnering a little bit of a following, which is a good idea because then you put yourself in a position of leverage with people. uh, And also you bring some things other than just what you say is uh, you have a team of people that have been ride or die with you for whatever reason, nobody knows. I think that would be the right thing to do. If you just go to work on uh, your social medias, your socials, figure out what works for you. Uh, you're probably going to suck a little bit your thoughts early or maybe you'll just hit immediately uh, but just kind of stick with it and then also a little self-awareness like uh, not talking about what you don't know is probably a good idea for instance I just had a conversation with a guy named David Faraday who's a golf expert in the Masters happening right now and I alluded to him numerous times that I know no <laughs> idea I have no idea about golf <laughs> like I think that self-awareness is pretty key there Braden. Uh and also always be prepared mm-hmm. uh, I, I think if a lot of people hear uh, me or, or somebody else give a take off the top of the head, everybody thinks. But that was probably thought about while I was taking a shit maybe three days ago, and I was really thinking. It's like at all moments, and this is not great for a lot of other aspects of my life, uh, my, my brain is two things. Like, okay, uh, let's not piss off the wife. Mm-hmm. And then the other time is how much information can I get into my brain right now so that if this ever comes up in conversation, I have a real opinion about it. I'm educated enough about it where I can speak about it knowing what could potentially piss off everybody. So it's like, okay, if that's probably, if this is gonna piss off everybody, let's assume that that's not the right answer. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. But that all comes with preparation. So that's what I would say, Brain. A lot of preparation time, which isn't necessarily hand uh, or, or pen to, to pad or whatever. It's mostly just the amount of information that's out there. You can consume enough if you really have the wherewithal to do so, uh, that you can be pretty well educated on damn near anything that you should talk about. Build your own brand. Do whatever you can to work with people that have done what you've done in the past. Or Hell want to yeah. do it in the past. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think it's pretty good there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because I thought it was a very stupid question. Like, yo, just fucking go to work, dude. You know? Which is, by the way. Also. The easiest answer. <laughs> just go to work, man. Stop asking questions. Just go. Uh, but I think it also could be tough. Because in college, like, in that position, I'm sure, like, they're, those departments and the professors are convincing those kids the only way they can be successful is if they go work at, like, a local news station. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you know, come up that way. Like, that's definitely the way it's being taught. And you have to... You know, mm-hmm. this is the first thing you should see. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, the Indianapolis coach take on the Tennessee Titans mm-hmm. in an AFC South showdown. What will Philip Rivers do? Have fun with his kids afterwards. We do know that. <laughs> Let's, it's tough. They get put in a tough spot. Those local news get put in a tough mm-hmm. spot. Oh, yeah. Right? Brutal. Especially now with the way the world, the Internet is. When a local news shot makes its way onto the internet, it is a recipe for disaster. And there's nothing those local news people can do, by the way, because that's what that position has been since the beginning of local news and will be. And it's just not their fault how they're supposed to act. In in the world, though, that is quickly happening, like the way you're supposed to act there is very mockable because everybody on earth knows that that's fake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Very much so. You know what I mean? It's like a, uh, it's a tough thing. Change the recipe a little bit, maybe. And also probably uh, focus on listening. Listening is pretty big. Oh, hey. Wow. Oh, uh, you were so stupid, dude. <laughs> Let's get to Chris in Maine. What's going on, Chris? Things you can work on. Things you can work on. I wish hey, I, I, wish I knew that. I mean, you know, I would have started it back then. 
Did you hear what this guy said? He said, hey, what's going on, dude? What's his name? <laughs> oh, let's go to Michigan. It's Chris. It's Chris and Mayor. Ah. Chris, Chris, what do you want to talk about, brother?